power output waveform using DAC 0800. The input to the DAC 0800 to be given through IC74393 which is a dual 4 bit binary counter. Now first we have to know that pin diagram for DAC 080. This is the pin diagram. You can look at this is the pin diagram and that will be using uh, while connecting and you can see here there are 8 bits are there, 8 pins are there which should be binary input should be given and B1 is the MSB and B8 is the LSB and and remaining pins will be discussing while the connecting and you can see that here the 74 uh, 74393 this is the pin diagram is also shown here and you can see this is a two counters are there in this case and there are two clocks there and there are two reset pins also there and therefore two completely these are two separate four bit counters and and we'll be using this two four bit counter and we'll be giving to the input to the DAC will giving to the input of the DAC and, and therefore 4, 4 bit, 4 bit, 8 bit will be using that. Now 7421 is a 4 input AND gate and we will be using that and this is the pin diagram and main concept here. Now I am coming to the main main concept here. You can look at that. The main, the main concept lies here. Whatever the we have idea we have used. The DAC, if you give here, you can see B1 to B8. If you give the binary input, you will get an output of a, in the in the form of a voltage. You can get a voltage if you connect a, a resistance of 10k at the terminal 4. You can get a voltage, and that voltage will be fed to the oscilloscope, and then and then there will be waveforms will be generated. If we change that voltage with time. Then for a, a point will be generated for each of the each of the voltage generated and if we change that voltage and then the wa a, a, a waveform should be generated according to the voltage generated the output side and we get a waveform in the oscilloscope and that is the concept. Now another thing here that 74393 has two 4 bit binary counter and that will be used as the input to the DAC 08000 and because it has completely two separate binary counters are there therefore therefore one counter we are using the, which are the first counter you are using which is the output of 393 this is a 6543 this is the output and the and the clock is 1 and when this counter will be, when all of them one will be, that means six, five, four, three. As you see in this pin, all will be output will be one, and before and and then this will be fed to the seven, four, two, one, so that seven, four, two, one output will be from six will be high, and that will be fed to the clock of the second counter. Therefore, second counter will be incremented by will be incremented by 1 and therefore combination of these two counter combination of these two counter counter number 1 which is the counter number 1 that means 6543 and counter number 2 8 pin number 8 9 10 11 combination of these two one it will create a counter of 8 bit counter together it will create an 8 bit counter with the help of 7421 and that will be fed to the DAC 0, 0, 0, 0. and that is the concept here. Now you see that this is the here in this lot we have put, put the DAC here 74393 here 7421 and then you can you can see here we have connected a we have connected a already connected a resistance here of 10k here we have we have connected a 5 5k here also we have connected a 5k and two capacitor we have connected and uh, 0.1 microfarad, 0.1 microfarad and 
0.01 microfarad and that connections now will continue the connection. As per the diagram you can see the, the pin number 3 should be connected to the minus 12 volt. Therefore, I am coming to DAC you can, you can look at that pin number 3 I am connecting the pin number 3 and going to the minus 12 volt. I am connecting the minus 12 volt and then you can, you can see that uh, pin again, pin again pin number 3 is connected to the capacitor. Then for again I am coming to the pin number 3 and then coming to the uh, capacitor, one end of the capacitor and then, and then I am connecting, then I am, then I am connecting another end of the, another end of the capacitor, another end of the capacitor is connected to the, you can look at that, connected, is connected to the ground, you can look at that connected to the ground. Therefore, I am connecting to the ground here, I am connecting to the ground here. And in this way, we will continue the connections. Now, I connected the pin number 13 to plus 12. You can look at that pin, num pin number 13 is, connect is connected to the, uh, this is the plus 12. And again from, again from pin number 13, a capacitor is connected. A capacitor is connected as shown in the, as shown in the diagram. And pin number 4 uh, is connected to the 10k resistances therefore pin number 4 you can see and the 10k 10k this is the 10k and therefore other end is coming to the ground in this way exactly in the similar way we I have completed the connections of pin number 14 pin number 15 pin number 16 and pin number 2 and 1 pin, pin number 1 and 2 both are grounded therefore pin number 1 you can see and pin number 2 also it has been it has been grounded both are has been grounded now I connected the 74393, 74393 is a uh, 14 pin IC, therefore 7 is grounded, 14 is VCC and there are two reset pin, 2 and 12 are the two reset pin that has to be grounded and, and then we connected accordingly that the counter, first counter and the second counter combined you can see 3, 3 4, 5, 6 and these are the first counter and the second counter is 8, 9, 10, 11. I con we connected uh, the most significant bit is the, the 8 and from most significant to bit to the least significant bit accordingly it has been connected to the, the DAC 0800 and that connection is and uh, that connection is been completed then we should proceed for 7421. Then I completed the connection for 7421. 7421 is also a 14 pin IC and therefore 7 is grounded and 14 is uh, VCC. And then and accordingly the 7421 and 74393 as it is shown in the uh, diagram it has been connected accordingly and then we will see the output before observing the output into the CRO one thing is important that 74393 it has two clocks and the clock number 13 you can look at that clock number 13 and that is being connected to the uh, 7421 and clock number 1 should be given a pulse given a clock pulses from your automatic generations here we have an automatic generation of 1 kilohertz and even 10 kilohertz also and I have connected to 1 kilohertz you can look at that it is connected it is 1 kilohertz I, ha I have connected here and that is the important thing that means the pin number 1 of 74393 should be connected to a automatic generation of a clock pulse and then the pin number 2 you can look at that pin number 2 of DAC pin number 2 and DAC and pin number 4 is to be connected to the and here pin number here you can look at that pin number two one is the pin number two another is pin number four has been connected to the oscilloscope and there only we, are, we will be getting the output waveforms and then if we if we look at the output waveforms that is the that, that is the output waveform that you, that is the output waveforms you are you, we are getting then you can you can see that that it is it is uh, increasing it is increasing and then it falls then it falls and that is the that is the all all about the ramp output generated by dac 0800 and with the combination of 74393 and 7421 
And 7421, I want to mention that 7421 is not being told to uh, specifically, but it is I included the 7421 to make this two counter into a eight bit counter, two counter combining this four, two four bit counter into an eight bit counter. And that is why I have included 7421. And that all about the generation of a ramp output by DAC 0800. Last, I want to mention one thing that if, if you get a inverted type uh, uh, waveforms, that means uh, of whatever the waveform it is showing, if you get an inverted type, what you do, uh, you change the uh, polarity. That means red one, you bring uh, wherever it was a black one, you put the red one, and the black one you put into the in the place of a red one. The polarity of that you change, you will get the in the the uh, the waveform also will be inverted, and and that is the that is the way we can get the ramp output from uh, DAC zero eight zero zero.